So welcome back to Lightwave Guru. It have another name, but it's the same. I s uh, spoken today, or I, I would speak today a little bit about the new trend 3D home staging. But in the end, under us professionals, the name is uh, Camera Front Projection Mapping. And uh, I would show a little a simple example uh, I built with Octane. And this new name, 3D Home Staging, I heard the first time for two days from my agent. Yes, and uh, my agent uh, gave me a call and mean, hey, we must uh, create an example for 3D Home Staging. And my question was, what the fuck is 3D Home Staging? And uh, then he showed me an example from another web website and... I uh, I tell to him, hey, that's a good old camera front projection mapping with real photos, and I must loud. So that means the advertising industry creating new name for a very old thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, three D home staging, but three uh, D home staging for interior in in architecture uh, photos is a good effective way uh, to give a, a empty room. If you would say, if you would uh, sail the room, um, it's a, it's a good way to give that empty room a little a little bit a better optic, yeah, and create a, a picture that uh, bring you more clients and you can better sell it out, yes, that object. And that's the reason I would show today with Octane. This uh, principle is very simple. In the beginning, you become a photo from uh, from that uh, architectural object, from that, yeah, in most cases, is in, uh, inside a, a room, yeah, and that's empty. And your job as 3D artist is to fill that room, yeah, with 3D objects. And it must look be photoreal, yeah, it's normal today. And for that, you have to, f uh, as first, to check out for a good... Uh, for good finish for later the camera data from that object and you need some information yeah that mean if you create your octane scene you have to create your camera resolution with the same pixel as uh, the picture is yeah? and you have some other informations about that uh, that camera yeah for a, for example here the exif info for what camera is used, what is the aperture value, and what's the f-stop, and uh, all that kind of things. And if you have all that data, you can uh, create the virtual version from that camera with Octane, and then you can embed it your 3D objects. Yeah, but that only so as extra information. Uh, my English is too bad to explain it completely. But what I will show is now the the little example I create for my agent that he can make advertising for that for me and for new clients. And that's then in the end, you see it here, what I do. So I take some uh, 3D objects from my interior library or from that library we create over the years with architecture objects. And I bring in that scene uh, a clock a car for kids, some uh, some chairs and a table and here with some pictures and a little bit stuff in the background, yeah, to fill to fill that object. And uh, that's a principle uh, to uh, uh, create the home staging, you know, 3D home staging or a camera mapping with Octane. And here you can see the original scene and if I start Octane and render it, ooh, ah, the resolution is too big. Sorry, my friends. So let us update the scene and then close. And then I take a, a camera resolution. It's not so big. Wait a sec. So here, so, so it's better. And I show now the principle. Yeah, it's very simple. And from principle, is it the same as with the Lightwave native? Yeah, so that's my 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 render output. Yeah, 
here's the clay data. And in the end, if I show you the scene, that's the scene here. Wait, I make here a little bit the headlight on. And in the end is the following done. You have here your floor and you need for your floor the node with the name Octane Camera Mapping. And in that node, you put in your picture and use uh, as material, diffuse material and plug it in, in your material. Yeah. And the same you do with your wall uh, backside. And then you need only to find the camera position from uh, in what height is the camera, yeah? Stay in the scene. It is here one meter and 60 centimeter. And then you can begin to uh, drop in your objects in the scene, yeah? So that's a very pr uh, simple principle. And what I do here is, uh, I would explain it. You see here a helper object behind that, that uh, picture here and also here behind the clock and that I call shadow catcher, you know, that uh, give uh, me the chance to build a little bit, uh, yeah, ambient occlusion uh, shadow here in the near, uh, near from that object and also from the from that um, uh, picture here, yeah. And in the end, if you place all that objects right, you become a render like this here. And the only thing what I have to do and uh, what's a little bit tricky is to realize what's the real size of your 3D objects in that scene. Yeah, so in my first scene, I use original sizes from my 3D objects and then I later realized, oh, all the objects are a little bit too tinny and have not the right size. And, uh, and the reason is that you have to uh, check out with your own eyes what is the right size of your 3D object. Yeah, the thing is, if you make the pictures for yourself, yeah, with your own camera and you are live in that in that stage yeah you have your for example this here uh, and then you can make some uh, then you have some parameters from that from that object but if not you have to interpret it free with your eyes yeah and that means the only thing is a little bit uh, and the variation parameter is to find the right size object, uh, the right size, yeah? So, and that little print, uh, that uh, simple principle uh, can help you to give your empty architecture objects a better look, yeah? To sell out better the objects, yeah? And that's one of the things you can do with, uh, yeah, Octane and uh, Octane, with the Octane camera mapping. So, I hope nobody understand nothing. <laughs> and the reason is my insane good English. So, have a nice time on planet Earth. Uh, and do you remember, the new name for camera front projection mapping is now 3D home staging. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, bye bye. Have a nice time.